These are truck drivers from Taraba State, the northern part of Nigeria. According to them, they have been on the road for the past six days following the blockade of the road. As you can see, they have assorted to extracurricular activity to keep themselves busy. We did here six days for nothing. Just they say they come block road, they say they repair the road. Today makes six days. And then no bab, nothing, nothing. They block the road, say that they road to square. May they allow us, no go, there's no agree for us. But we beg government, may God do the road for us. No we go. Please, uh, we, are, we are begging you, sir, please help us open this road, do, because this stuff is too much. Since on Monday now, we do years. We, we are Muslims here. It's here we break our fast, we do the salah. So the, the road is not open since Monday. Five days, it is a the road. I know go back, I know go plan. I know you make to go back, I know you make to come. The road you don't support. The people ask why I know you make you open the road. While I do my no back, no foot, nothing, nothing. Government no look at the people. What you call government be this? I beg. I beg government, they beg peace, beg government. Make you call look at these people. Eight day six of the protest by residents of the over 20 communities on Sapler Road who are demanding the reconstruction of the faith portions on the Benin Sapler Road. Vehicle and movement to and from Benin Sapler and Wari end of the road remains at a standstill. Meanwhile, weed and tall grasses have overtaken the bad road while residents tend the faith portions of the road to refuse dump. Human and social economic activities in the past six days have been grounded just as business owners complained of the adverse effect of the protests on their business. This Ogege gesture, they will be market women with the sell for markets now. Now, now they block everywhere. No movements can work, can go anywhere now. We don't know what they happen for this our country. No market there, this place again because of the road. So, no business. So, people don't use to come and buy again. So, the thing is stopping us. We are begging the the government to come and help us. One of the residents of the communities, Frederick Akenua, said a full blockade of the road will commence on Saturday evening and there will be a total shutdown of the entire stretch of the road to Ologbo until the relevant authorities heed to their call for mobilization of contractors to the area. Today makes the sixth day that we've been here. We've not seen any federal government a, a, a representative would not say the state government representative to come tell us what are going to do about the road. So we are still here. Both cars still find their way out. But from this evening, they'll be re-blocking from here to Olobo. No movement. It aids the hope of drivers and passengers who have been stranded for days that the federal government and relevant government agencies will hack into the cry of the protesters so that the road will be opened for vehicular and human movements. Sharon Ajay. ITV News.